Non nobis domine, non nobis, sed nomini tuo da gloriam. In preparation for this game, I had recently played an entire game of Crusader Kings 2 as the Kingdom of Wales. Then, through some modding, I carried that save file through EU4, Victoria 2, and finally, Hearts of Iron 4. I really love Paradox RTSs, but Crusader Kings was especially fun. Not only for the obvious reasons of going on crusades, but the interpoliticking among vassals, and of course, plotting to assassinate your two-year-old grandson by throwing him off of the castle to ensure that your lineage will remain Welsh. Yes, that did happen. But here we have the latest medieval kingdom simulator, with more kingdoms, more religions, and more crusading. So, let's put on our crowns and jump right in. So, you may begin this game in either 867 or 1066 AD. At this point, you can literally select any kingdom, duchy, tribe, or sultanate. Effectively, your objective is to maintain your dynasty until the year 1453. This is far easier said than done. In fact, as of now, I have the achievement for doing so, along with 0.08% of all players on Steam. I call this the BAC achievement. Now, to maintain your realm, you'll need to keep your people happy. Depending on your government structure, this could be as simple as bribing your courtiers, giving your vassals more territory, or of course, forceful conversion. In fact, there is quite a bit of juggling to be done here. When selecting people on your council, you'll generally want the most skilled person for the job. But of course, the more land your vassals hold, the more important they'll feel, and will get pissy if they don't get a position on the council. Whether they're qualified or not. I mean, what are they gonna do? Start an uprising? Well, that's exactly what they'll do. On top of this, there's also the matters of lineage and alliances. The only surefire way to ally with a neighboring country is to marry into their family. This is all fine and dandy until you realize that the only way for you to ally with France is to marry their low-born lunatic flagellant heretic princess in a matrilineal marriage while she's suffering from typhoid. Still worth it. Interestingly, the game only ends if your dynasty dies out. This means as long as you have an heir, you can survive invasions, plagues, uprisings, and even assassination attempts. I mean, you probably won't survive the attempt, but your dynasty will. That being said, it is incredibly easy to death spiral in this game. In my very first game, I took one neighboring county, ended up getting my ass beat by a much more powerful kingdom, then my entire court suffered from an outbreak of smallpox. I lasted a few years and nobody remembered my name. But there is just so much you can do in this game. You could reform your religion to allow for such things as cannibalism, sky burials, and reincarnation. You could play politics and marry into nations in a manner where you slowly start eating away their empire. And of course, crusades. If you are a Christian faith, you can join in on crusades, or alternatively jihads if you are an Islamic faith. There is just something so satisfying about you and hundreds of other nations all swarming another enormous army for the money, prestige, and glory. Granted, these crusades often fail, but I personally think it's because the crusaders just didn't believe hard enough. Something I've noticed playing through Paradox RTSs is, while I enjoy them, they're usually pretty hard to learn. No joke, for some games it is required playing the tutorial and then playing for hours to figure out how the game actually works. Heck, I am 800 plus hours into Victoria 2, and I am still discovering gameplay elements. But Crusader Kings 3 is a fantastic example of how to make a sequel right. This game took all of the elements of CK2, simplified the more complex parts, added more gameplay options, revisited a large portion of the previous soundtrack, which is awesome, and just overall made a very enjoyable experience. So if you have any interest in this game, then I would highly recommend Crusader Kings 3. Now if you'll excuse me, I have some more heretics to purge from the Holy Land. Deus Vault.